So today I'm going to take you through the process of moving a site from a staging site to uh, an HTTP site or a live site and then taking it from HTTP to HTTPS making it secure. I'm going to presume that you've now migrated your site or moved your site from staging to live and with that you've now got your live URL. But in the process, you might well have uh, left some unchanged links, i.e. staging dot whatever your domain name is. And sometimes it's not the easiest thing to know if you um, have any of the, 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 the leftover URLs and you want to make sure they're all changed so you don't get dead links when you delete the, stage, when you delete the staging site. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to do this with Elemental today. Uh, so we're running WordPress 5.7, got the Elemental theme with Elemental Pro. You can see uh, now from my plugins page that we have uh, Elemental. We also have uh, Velvet Blues uh, installed and Better Search Replace. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Elemental uh, tag on the left hand side and go to Tools. And this will bring up uh, replace our URL. So the staging URL is the one that I want to move. So I'm on another screen. I'm just copying the staging URL in. And then I have copied the, copied the uh, live URL. And I'm going to put that in the next box. And this is all on HTTP. If you put it on HTTPS, you probably still need to do this. But this is HTTP. And I'm just hitting replace URL. And you can see that there's 172 rows affected. We're good with that. We expected something like that. So that's taken care of that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go along to uh, tools. And you can see here, update URLs, better search replace, which are the two plugins. This is Velvet Blues. This is better search replace. I'm going to hit the update URLs and I'm actually going to do the same process. Um, so I'm putting the staging URL in first and then following it by the live site URL. I'm clicking every option of all kids update now and you'll see here that it's found an extra 54 attachments okay that the elementor url replacement tool didn't actually pick up so that's a that's now a bonus now what we're going to do is we're going to go through to uh, better search replace and repeat the process really um, so copy the staging chart site in uh, copy the live site in Click on the top of the, um, the database tables and then Control A. That will highlight all of them. Run as a dry run. Leave this ticked and hit search, uh, run search replace, and just let it run through, uh, doing all of its uh, database checks and seeing what URLs need to be replaced. If there's any, that's good. We know that that they need to be changed. Uh, in this case, it's checked 33 tables, and up here you'll see that there were no cells found. So really, you could say we only need to use the first two tools: the Elementor tools, the Elementor, the Elementor URL replacement tool, and Velvet Blues. Um, there are occasions uh, when you might use this if you want to like triple check uh, the results it's something I always do um, <clears throat> now a little while ago I actually turned on the SSL onto this site so hopefully it's uh, propagated now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into um, elemental tools and we're going to take the live URL which is the HTTP so this is the HTTP version, and we're going to take the HTTPS, which is the secure version, and hit that. And now I'm going to replace those 172 rows affected, which is all good. Um, we're going to go down to tools, tools, go through exactly the same process. 
with the live site in, which is non secure. And the HTTPS secure site, hit these again, not the GUIDS, the GIDS um, posts, um, and update URL. You can see, um, look at this. I mean, this has picked up a whole load of stuff now. 175 content items, which we didn't have before. We've got the same 54 attachments, but we've also got one custom field. So the Elemental tool didn't do the job as well as you would have hoped. This is a really good second tool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Better Search Replace. And we're going to run this same tool. With HTTP, HTTPS. Again, click on the top database table, click Control A, and hit Run Search Replace. And um, we're just going to let that run through the tables, see if there's any more changes that um, that are going to occur. Okay, let's see what the results are. Now look at that. Okay, this time we've got 33 tables that were searched. Last time we had no um, results. Uh, now we've got 238 eight cells have now been found that need to be updated. And because we've got this little button down here that is ticked, no changes were made. I'm going to untick that, run search and replace again. It will do the same process. Well, this takes about 10 seconds. Uh, <clears throat> uh, to run. So you can see why we want to triple triple check things. Um, we do the first with the um, with the Elementor uh, URL updater, then we do Velvet Blue, and then we do Better Search Replace. Okay, and this time uh, there were 238 cells changed and 148 updates. Okay, so now we've gone back to uh, the home page. And if I now come out of full screen, you should be able to see just up here. There we go. We've got the um, we've got the the padlock. So the site's secure. Way to go! If you have got any issues with this, um, there's a website called Why No Padlock. So click on whynopadlock.com put in the uh, secure address that you put in the secure address that you want to check click the capture form test the page and this will do five checks okay that will look at your SSL certificate or look at the content on the page um, and it will give you a, a, a brief and fast report about where the issues are and if there are any issues it will uh, flag them for you so you can go and have a look and it will tell you exactly what those things are you just copy what what it is stick it into a new tab and um, and you'll see what the image or the link is but there you go so that's this site 100% secure so job done happy days